Are you saved? Am I saved? You hear it all the time. But what says the Bible? Well, the Bible is very clear on who does the saving and the means by which he does it. Titus chapter 3 and verse 5 tells us that it's not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, God saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost. My question to you today is, have you experienced the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost? If not, you should, for this is the same birth of water and spirit Jesus said you must experience in order to enter the kingdom of God. You see, my friend, this was what was consistently preached throughout the New Testament. I want you to consider for a moment Peter's account of what the angel of God revealed to a man named Cornelius in the 11th chapter of the book of Acts. The Bible said, an angel of God appeared unto Cornelius and said unto him, Send men to Joppa and call for Simon, whose surname is Peter, who shall tell thee words whereby thou and all thy household shall be saved. My next question is, what were the words Peter spoke to Cornelius, whereby he and his household shall be saved? If you say it involved water baptism in Jesus' name and the receiving of the Holy Ghost, you guessed right. For the Bible said after listening to Peter, Cornelius and his household both received the Holy Ghost and were baptized in the name of the Lord. My friend, I want you to understand that this is God's saving plan revealed in the scriptures. Repentance, water baptism in Jesus' name and the infilling of the Holy Ghost. This is the message upon which the church was founded in Acts chapter 2. The Samaritans were saved by in Acts chapter 8 and the message that opened doors to the Gentiles in Acts chapter 10. Now that you heard what the Bible says about saved, what say you?